Hello again, a new day, another project, another evening in fact, it's not a day anymore. So what I got here, it's a rack antenna, 8 dB, but unfortunately it's made for states. So uh, it have a frequency range from 900 to 930 megahertz. You see, you know, I'm really, I'm really curious. Uh, I have to take a look inside. <laughs> But uh, first of all, there was a problem. You see the normal wrench or key, how you call this, you know, it's not working because it's too thick in here. It's not getting into this place. So you need something like uh, 4.5 millimeters or even thinner. And uh, of course, as you can see here, you need something really, really strong to, to keep it in place because it's it's not getting off so easy. But I can tell you, and I swear, <laughs> I didn't open it up yet. I'm really curious. Let's see what we got in there. This is an N type connector and let's go. You know, it's a really big antenna. Not sure, but it have like, let me see like 90 centimeters, maybe more. It's funny, I don't, I don't have a, I don't have something to, so one, two, like 88 centimeter long. Okay, that's pretty long. Let's open it up and here we go. Oh, this is good. Brass tubes. Well, I can tell you from now, this is a coaxial collinear antenna. Really great. Look there. And more to go. Come on. <laughs> Don't want to give up. But why? We get like a plastic cube in here. No, sir. It's not giving up. You see the point. If this is a coaxial collinear with tubes, and that's for sure because you can see in here, we have the dielectric and we have the coaxial like very nice and you know what that means we can tune this very easy for 868 megahertz of course we need longer tubes but that shouldn't be a problem because it's, it's number 10 10 centimeters 10 millimeters i'm sorry and it's very easy to find this kind of copper tubes but i can't take it out no way i can't i can't see What's inside there? But I suppose it's the other tube. Huh. No chance. Not this way. Okay, so maybe I should cut this loose. No. I'm sorry, but there is no way to open this up like this. So I'm going right now to cut the top. I'm gonna cut the top down, okay? I'll be right back. Man, this is really, really a mess. Oh, I never thought about this, but I found that I can just take this top off. It's moving. And okay, there we are, <laughs> guys. You can't believe it, this, but it's just an empty tube here, <laughs> like one hand, huh? But how can we do this now? I will dismantle the antenna from here, okay? Just take this out, disorder this, in fact. That's not a problem. We can put it back anytime. Yeah, it's very... 
Oh, I'm tired. <laughs> come on up, come on up. A little more temperature because this is a really hard job for TS100. Okay. But not impossible. Right? It's getting, it's getting solid back in a split of a second. And here too. Very nice. Yeah. There we go. Oops. I don't want you to miss this. And here comes the antenna. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Oh man. It's really, really working hard. Hard to get. Oh, right. There, there we are, people. <laughs> Look at the tube length. And what's the most important thing is that, like I said before, this is a coaxial collinear. And I'm so, so happy about this because I can very, very, very easy transform this to a 868 megahertz. So we have 10. 0.7 millimeters and we need another I think it will be 112 but I have to see the velocity of the copper tube maybe 120 and the good news is that I have plenty of this so then I can rebuild this antenna in a proper way so what we got here one two three four five six seven seven and this is a quarter wave i suppose this one here let's see so the elements are 10 one or let's say 107 millimeters and the last one here it's 41. well it's kind of i don't know i have to see the report uh, i mean the report between 1007 if it's uh this is this is quarter wave and that one should be five point but no it's kind of different okay i'll see about that anyway i'm really happy with this for now because i'm pretty sure i can rebuild it for 868 very very easy nothing else to add but seven elements of uh, 10.7 or 107.7 millimeters this is strange here i really don't know if you know what is this about maybe it's a resistor or something. okay good idea let me measure this is it open or is it uh, a closed antenna Uh, this kind of collinear coaxial they are open with a whip on the top with a okay with a whip there yeah and this is closed and not only closed but I think we have like, uh, let me see, it's evidently short, 
how it can be? It should be 50 ohms, usually. But we'll see about this later. For now, I'm really happy. It can be uh, modified and uh, we make a bright new one for 868. Uh, Thank you for now. Please subscribe. Push the like button. I need you guys because I have to keep these things together and that's the only way you can help me keep on the things running. I'll see you soon with some other projects. But for now, I will modify this and I let you know in the next videos. And uh, of course, like always, the most important thing, don't forget to have fun. Bye bye.